and let's see who won. Watch again, gimmick or not? What is it? Chicken friends, chicken friends. So hey guys. Chickens and I are outside enjoying the nice warm weather. It's gotta be about 35 degrees, 40 degrees, somewhere in there, I don't know. I didn't look when I came out. If I go back, if I think of it when I go back in, I'll put it down here somewhere. So you guys can see what it is. But as you can see, I'm out here in a sweatshirt and very, very comfortable. It's very nice out. And the chickens are happy little buggers. Happy little poopers. Um, there's some spots, as you can see, of uh, grass and dirt and mud and yuck. But they are loving it. This is where they've been hanging out. And the spots have been getting bigger and bigger. Uh, every day because it's just been warm for the past oh two and a half days uh, we did have a big storm you saw the video the, our most recent video um, of Scott getting ready for it it was a big storm that hit the whole east coast and we were not immune to it we got it as well I would say we probably got eight or nine inches it was hard to tell because of the wind we had wicked wind and we had uh, drifts that were up against the doors and in certain spots and then other places were bare because the wind just blew it right off. It was just really granular. It was like, all I could think of when I was shoveling it was like sugar. It was just like somebody poured sugar down. It was really light, which was nice because we did get quite a bit and we had to shovel the deck off and out and around like the wood uh, pile and uh, over, you know, in front of the chicken door and but the tractor does most of the work, but um, yeah, had to do a lot of that stuff. So 
uh, stock got it all plowed. It looks really good. The hill is nice and cleaned off. It's all dirt right now, which is awesome. But we do have another storm coming in uh, tonight. Uh, it's supposed to start out as rain because it's so warm and then switch over to uh, s snow, ice, sleet, freezing rain. I don't even know. We'll find out when we get it. But they're predicting 8 to 12 inches for us again, just like the last storm. So we got the lower end of that in the last storm. We'll see what we get in this one. Uh, Scott is back to work this week. So, of course, uh, I will be plowing and shoveling. Maybe not in the same day because it is a lot of work. But um, I will have to do a lot of that. So we'll see. Hopefully it's not too much, but you never know. So anyway, we'll just take it one step at a time. That's what I do. I just uh, do what I can, make sure I can get in and out and get to the, get to the wood pile here. Uh, make sure I can get to the chickens over here and clean off the panels when I need to. Speaking of that, it's cloudy today. Um, I took some video yesterday that was just beautiful blue sky. And you'll, you've probably already seen that with the chickens and stuff and treated them outside with treats. And they really enjoyed that. Uh, just trying to get them out because I know that probably after today they'll be in for probably, what is this? Uh, this is Thursday, so Friday is like the storm and then Saturday, it goes into Saturday. So a couple days anyway, they'll be in. So um, I'm trying to get my days straight. So yeah, so we've got bigger snow banks and um, you know, it's uh, it's getting more snowier around here, which is good because we need the insulation. We can really use it. So anyway, I was saying before, it's cloudy and I'm going to come out. I wanted to come out and charge up the batteries and uh, get the house all charged up. Probably do some laundry, do up the dishes, and then I'll be all ready to spend the day outside tomorrow if I need to, uh, plowing and doing whatnot. So, but I wanted to show you our snow banks as you can see there's one there and then if you just keep coming over this one's a pretty good sized one now pretty good we're getting up there uh, and there's also ice it's kind of icy out here not too bad though right now it's not frozen solid so you can walk on it and it gives um sure once the cold weather comes back which it's supposed to it will be worse uh, and slippery, but there'll be snow on top of it. So hopefully it'll stick and It won't be so bad So this is the uh, one of the bigger snow banks here It's pretty good sized I'm standing at the base of it right now. It's a little bit taller than I am maybe But uh, yeah, we've got the snow banks and actually they've they've melted down just a little bit from the really nice warm weather we've been having. It feels like spring out here, which is so nice. We really need it after weeks and weeks of cold, negative temperatures, um, you know, not being able to come outside and enjoy it. So this has been really nice to have these nice few days. Again, it's going to come back in and storm and get cold again, but at least maybe this will revive everybody a little bit and know that spring is on its way, even though it's the beginning of February. It's coming, it's coming. It just is coming slow and hard. It really is. So, I don't know if you can see the, the sun is really uh, clouded over and uh, just muted today. So, we're not getting that much power. So, I'm gonna start the generator in a little bit. But I wanted to come out because uh, a few weeks ago, I put out a video on, um, uh, don't forget to buy these things, or don't forget these things when you are buying seeds and planting a garden. Of course, meaning uh, your pollinators and, and planting your flowers in and around your garden to bring your pollinators in to pollinate and uh, help you grow your vegetables. At the end of that, I put in a quick little blurb about a giveaway to Mary's Heirloom Seeds. We wanted to give away a gift certificate to there for $15. And we had, and it was at the very, very end. So if you didn't watch to the very end, you didn't join, you didn't see it. 
Uh, anyway, I asked everybody to put in hashtag off grid if you were interested. And oh, I think six people did it. So they watched to the very end and uh, they got that giveaway. So I, I did the random comment picker and put in uh, no duplicates and put in hashtag off grid. And let's see who won. So congratulations, Evelyn Dole uh, won the gift card. She's already been contacted and she's, I think she's already been spending it and buying seeds, which is awesome. I'm so excited about that. So if you have been paying attention in this video, somewhere here, I have flashed a word up on the screen um, through this whole video. And if you find that word, type it down in a sentence down in the comments. I will pick that word out with my random comment picker and we'll do another $15 gift card. Uh, we want to get people ready. We want to get people going. I love doing giveaways. I love giving away stuff. And right now everybody's thinking about their garden and what they're going to do. And I think it would be awesome to just get going on buying up your seeds if you haven't. And uh, I don't know. I just think it's a great idea. So, just look for the word. If you didn't see it, go back and watch again. Gimmick or not? What is it? Um, it's not, honestly. I'm just trying to find different things to, uh, different ways to get this, uh, this gift card out there. So it will be a $15 gift card from Mary's Heirloom Seeds. Uh, I can go right on. All I would need would be your email and they can email you the gift card and you can start spending almost immediately as soon as uh, they send it to you. So it should be exciting and get you guys started. I'm sure most of you have started already or maybe you haven't started because you think you have plenty of time, but it's February. A lot of places have already started their seeds and they can start a lot earlier than we can. Um, unfortunately, I can't start anything until uh, probably the end of March, sometime in March. I usually start way too early because I just get so excited. But uh, yeah, it would be about the end of March when I can start here. Um, really should maybe even be April, but I can, I can uh, fudge things along for a while. I do have the greenhouse if the snow starts going away. Uh, I can transfer stuff from in the house into the greenhouse if it's right now it's made it so far um, and uh, I should knock on wood and hopefully it does <laughs> hopefully it makes it um, I'm excited to use that last year the plants were so excited to be in there in that warmth after I moved them from outside and they just exploded like overnight and it really got awesome in there so I'm hoping for it to happen again. It's just going to take a little bit of work. And I can't really do anything right now because of the snow. Right now it is buried. It's right over my shoulder. Right now it's buried in snow. It's got a big tarp on it. So I'm hoping I can do something. <laughs> so anyway, guys, go back. Look for the word if you didn't see it. And uh, it'll be hidden, but not really that bad so um, some of you may have seen it and gone why is that up there that's kind of strange so anyway just watch for a video in the future on the the winner of that and again congratulations Evelyn I think that's so awesome I talked to you by email and I think it's great that uh, this kind of gives you a good jump start on a lot of stuff that you can do this year it's exciting to plan to figure things out. I've got a lot of work to do in my garden, as you can see. I've got a lot of plans for it. I don't know if it'll come about, but I'm hoping it will. <laughs> uh, at least some of it. And uh, I know I'll definitely be growing. I definitely will be growing in it. But I'd like to fix the fence and uh, fix my poles and do a little bit something nicer. That was just to get started and keep the chickens out for the short period of time, but I'd really like to make it look a lot nicer uh, fence 
So when you pull in, you don't see this rickety old fence and stuff, but who cares? It's, it's our house. It's our, you know, it's our garden. We're growing as long as we're growing. I really, I really could care, but, um, I, I don't know. I'm excited, but anyway, I'm excited about this warm weather. I can't believe I'm outside and it is just so comfortable outside. So I just remembered that I had this thermometer out here. I don't always go by it because the thing is, it's wacky, I think. But I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says 40 degrees. It's 40 degrees. And after having negative temperatures at 40 degrees, you almost want to put your bathing suit on and go swimming in the local pond, which you can't because it's covered over with ice. I wouldn't definitely, I definitely wouldn't do it. But uh, I'm just saying that it feels so good to be outside. I'm loving it. And the chickens are loving it, which is awesome. Egg production has picked up. Good job, good job, good job. Everybody is laying, or well, most, most of them are laying eggs again. So we have an overabundance of eggs, which is great. <laughs> happy hens, happy Yeti. <laughs> he's a happy boy, he's got all these girls. I've got 21 or 20 chickens and one rooster. So he has got 20 hens that he can just, uh, you know, get his freak on with, I guess is what you want to call it. Maybe that's not appropriate, but whatever, whatever roosters do with their hens. <laughs> um, yeah, so he's a happy guy. If you haven't checked out that video a few weeks ago on don't forget to buy these things when you go to buy seeds and plant your garden, companion planting, whatever you want to call it. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it over here and uh, you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.